opportunity to begin to voice things that you feel and, 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 and you that represent some thoughts around some issues that we talk about that we think that everybody should. concerned about to some extent or another and today we're talking about the good samaritan and and when we talk about this the the thing is that we know that there's a lot of violence that's going on all the time in, on television and the internet but there's 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 some videos on on the internet right now posted on youtube that shows two teenage boys fighting both of the boys on the front lawn of a house and they're swinging wildly at each other and you can actually hear the sounds of the fists and the flesh being hit and another sound you can hear is a 33 year old Jennifer. She is the mother of one of the boys and she is the mom of, of the boy according to police and she's orchestrating and encouraging her son to fight. Beat him down, body slam him, she says to her son. At one point in the video, the woman tells the kids that they have permission to fight in her yard and that she will not call the police. And after some fighting, this is what happened next. Are you done? No. Oh, they handled it, you want Keep on going, hey, keep on going. It's a front yard. It's a front yard. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? No, this fool has a problem with my son. I'm letting him handle it. Is that right? Yeah. That's the way you do it? Yeah, that's the way I do it. Okay, call the cops. I, it's not with them. I ain't gonna call It's a front cops. yard. We can fight here. No, lady, you let him fight like this? Yeah, it's better than him jumping my son at home. I ain't jumping nobody, girl. I, I'm just telling you. Are you guys done or what? Nah. Hey, what's up, dude? He called me a weak ass last in my face. Huh? He called me a weak what guy. kind of example are you, lady? Hey, I don't care. Wow. Now, now, police say they have arrested the mom. She faces child endangerment and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Now, it's clear that the mom and the people standing by are crazy. What I want to focus on is the guy, the guy who drove by, who stopped, who put an end to the fight, the Good Samaritan. Have you ever been in that kind of situation? You saw something and, and you just couldn't turn your head. You just could not walk away. That you just had to say something. I want you to call and and tell your story. The number to call is eight 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 five three nine two nine eighty. Let let me tell you about a bad Samaritan, a bad one. David Cash, a University of California Berkeley college student, watched while his best friend Jeremy Strohmeyer assaulted a little Sherise Iverson, age seven. You might remember. Minutes after he walked out of the bathroom, his friend killed Sharice. He felt that he had no duty to save the girl. He didn't know her, and he didn't care. The deputy DA called it reprehensible, but moral reprehensibility, regrettably, is not a crime. David Cash was not charged with any crime. Cash never showed an ounce of remorse toward little Sharice's life being lost. And in the weeks following Strohmeyer's arrest, Cash told the Los Angeles Times that he did not dwell on the murder of Sharice Iverson. I'm going to, I'm not going to get upset over somebody else's life. I just worry about myself first. I'm not going to lose sleep over somebody else's problem. He told newspapers that the publicity surrounding the case had made it easier for him to score with women. Wow. You wonder... You wonder about people like that who have no value for human life. I'd like to have you call and like to hear your story. 888-539-2980. Right now, I want to talk to Virginia. Virginia, thank you so much for, for calling and tell us where was it that you saw something and you stepped in? Um, my girlfriend and I, uh, she happens to be a doctor. We were both walking through a swap meet. And we noticed, I noticed, a little child bleeding. The father was taking the clothes off. Nobody was doing anything. The mother was hitting the child. And I, the woman was three times bigger. And we're big girls. And she was bigger than both of us. Mm. I did not care. I said, this child is our child. And you are not going to do that. I'm putting you under citizen's arrest. I had my girlfriend stay there. Right. I ran for security, and police came, and we reported, and she was put under arrest. Wow. Good for you. My goodness. And nobody did anything. There must have been 200 people sitting there eating hot dogs and did nothing for Just the poor little boy. Mm, mm, mm. 
Thank you so much. You think about how do, I don't understand when I see what David Cash's statement. I, people who don't care can just watch it. I I wonder where this mindset comes from. I, 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 years ago, I don't think that that we had as many people that are had a propensity toward watching violence and not caring and saying anything. Well, I think it just comes from not understanding the implications of apathy mm -hmm. in the life of a community. Yes. And for those of us that have always understood it and have worked for children, youth, or family issues or have mm -hmm. had issues happen, um, we understand what it means to be a citizen. Yes. And mm -hmm. we understand that it comes with responsibilities. Yes, that, that, these are our responsibilities. You know, that that really need to become a course in, in school, and we need to start teaching the value of human life. Thank you so much for listening and calling in and sharing your story, and thank you for your courage. Thank you. Love your show. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Bye now. Jessica, thank you so much for calling in. I'm in Long Beach, tell us, what, what is it that you've witnessed? What's your story, Jessica? Oh, I was on the... Um, you got some uh, echo in the background. Yes, go ahead. Oh. Can you hear me better right yes, now? Yes, I can. Yes, thank you. Okay. I was on the heading down a freeway and I daytime and I noticed a gentleman was in the fast lane stalled and I drove past and I just had this feeling like if I don't do something, nobody will do something. So I got off the freeway, went up the street, got back on the freeway and went behind him. Then I motioned for him, beeped at him to come to my car and he went right along the edge of the freeway. We're in the fast lane. Yes. And, um... He, I actually had to get in the back seat of my car so he could come through the driver's side because mm. that's a safer way to yes. get in my car. I didn't want to put him to, in danger. Right. And then, and that was, you know, I'm taking a risk, but I just had to do it. Mm. And then he got in the passenger seat. I crawled back into the driver's seat and we took off, left his car there. And uh, I thought the best place to take him would be like a sizzler where I knew he could have phone and shelter and food and a yes. restroom. Right, absolutely. And, and that's what uh, you did? And uh, I think I even gave him five bucks. So he wow. did. I don't know what his situation was, but I just had to do it. One well, of those, I can't. I have to do it. I have to make a difference. A sense of oddness, and it shows a sense of humanity that you have. That's very uncommon today. Thank you for who you are and for your courage and for your compassion. And I really enjoy your show. It's very inspiring. Thank you so much. I appreciate you listening. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for calling in. We want you to continue to call at 888-539-2980. Tell us what you've seen that you said something has got to be done. And now let's go to KFWB's news, Magic, the little brother Maggie McKay, to get a preview of what's coming up on L.A.'s afternoon news. Come on, Maggie. Okay, thanks, Les. <laughs> uh, the key word today is awareness. We're going to tell you what you need to know about your online activities being tracked by cyber criminals and how to avoid being a victim. And also, of course, Les, we're going to talk about Elizabeth Taylor's friends and fans mourning her loss and reminisce on the many things she's going to be remembered for. And no sibling rivalry here. Quite the opposite. A nine-year-old pushes her five-year-old sister out of the way of a speeding truck, saving her, and lives to tell the story. Got a slice on the back nine? There's an app for that via Tiger Woods. And recession? What recession? Turns out there are limits to what people will go without. And getting your hair colored apparently is high on that list. It's a must-have. Broke or not, we'll tell you what other luxuries are on the list. And finally, the Royal Wedding Watchers. Some people just can't get enough of it. The entire ceremony will be available on iTunes. These stories and more at four on LA's Afternoon News. Could big batteries help bring more solar and wind 